we're going to be looking at the Air Queen, very famous mask. This is their nano mask. Um, have we tested that one before? 92%, yeah. So I remember it failing, which is why I'm going to test it again. So this is another test. We're giving them another at bat here, see if it works. This is the Air Queen Nano, very popular mask. Nano filtration, which the nanotech is pretty good. We're starting to work with this in our air filters. And like, actually it's, it's better because it doesn't lose, like static electricity doesn't matter. It doesn't use static electricity to capture things. They're not making any claims. This is not a KF94. So it looks like a KF94, it's from Korea. It's not a KF94. So it didn't fail any standards because they're not making any claims. However, what is this? Haha, <laughs> airqueen.com. So, oh, they are making claims here. Thank you, Chris, for sending this, awesome. So N95, oh, they're trying to pretend like their standards are better. Oh, that's rich. I love that. So it's like, look at, Korean standards are 94%, but the nano filter mask is 97, which last time we got 92. What does it actually say? Oh, snaps, uh, 200 Pascal. So we're showing millimeters of H2O because that's what the uh, 81, 30A shows by default. So they're lower than that, so they missed that mark. Uh, and the efficiency is 96.5. So they failed their own standards yet again. Nice. This was really cool. I'm so glad we opened this. I'm so glad we looked at this. And we're gonna post this one and probably replace our old one, maybe. I don't know, or just post them both. Um, because, yeah, they, they definitely feel. Personally, I would just choose another mask. There's so many out there right now. But in a pinch, probably a great mask. Great packaging. I'll give you that. Love that. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next test.